If you saw our video this year about the reasons why we decided to switch to an all-electric vehicle, you'll know that one of our top reasons for buying our Chevy Bolt EUV was to get the Super Cruise assisted driving feature. So today's video is about using Super Cruise. We make the three-hour round-trip drive on I-4 from our home in Daytona Beach, Florida to Disney World at least once per week, and using Super Cruise really takes the strain out of that long drive. The best way that I can think of to describe Super Cruise is to compare it to what most people probably already know about, and that's cruise control. So at the baseline, regular old cruise control allows the driver to set the speed that their car is traveling and they no longer have to keep their foot on the gas pedal. With cruise control, braking, steering, and lane changing are still the driver's job. Next is adaptive cruise control, which started popping up as an option on cars in the U.S. in the early 2000s, and adaptive cruise control does the acceleration part, but also takes on the job of braking, leaving steering and lane changing to the driver. Super Cruise, which is a GM branded feature, takes it to the next level and handles acceleration, braking, and steering, leaving just lane changing to the driver. Of course, none of these assisted driving systems get rid of the need for the human driver to be an alert and active participant in the driving of their vehicle. Now, while the adaptive cruise control will work anywhere, Super Cruise currently only works on roads that GM has mapped, and that's mostly highways. And we only know if Super Cruise is available if our Super Cruise icon lights up. Thankfully, it does work on most of the stretch of I-4 that we drive. To engage Super Cruise on my drive, I just push the button on the steering wheel and both the Super Cruise icon on the dash and the light bar on the top of the steering wheel turn green. Once that happens, I can take my hands off the wheel, but I can't take my eyes off the road. This system uses sensors to ensure that the driver is paying attention, and it will flash a warning on the steering wheel light bar if it detects that I'm looking away or have my eyes closed. If I don't look forward after being warned, Super Cruise will eventually disengage and I'll have to take over the steering. And honestly, even without the vehicle's admonitions, I'm a pretty cautious driver and just because Super Cruise is driving my vehicle, that doesn't mean that I'm disengaged from what's going on around me. And I'll hold on to the steering wheel if I'm concerned about an approaching vehicle or a sharp turn, just to be safe. As I mentioned earlier, lane changing is still my responsibility. The adaptive cruise control automatically slows our vehicle down when we come up behind another vehicle that is traveling slower than we are. There is actually a setting where you get to choose how much of a distance you want to maintain between your car and the one in front of you. So if the car in front of me is driving slower than I want to go, I, the driver, have to put on my turning signal and initiate passing. When I do this, both the light bar and Super Cruise icon turn blue when it senses that I've taken over the driving. Once I've moved over or finished passing and I've recentered the vehicle in the middle of the lane, Super Cruise will re-engage and lets me know by turning green again. The version of Super Cruise that we have will also disengage in an exit lane if you're about a third of a mile from the actual exit because it won't take you off of that exit. In a quarter mile, use the right two lanes to take exit 65 toward Wide World of Sports Animal Kingdom. And of course, there are sometimes unmapped areas where Super Cruise just turns off and you have to grab the wheel if you're not already holding it. There is a stretch of I-4 West around the Sanford exit that is under construction and Super Cruise has consistently cut out there. You can press the Super Cruise button on the steering wheel after getting the red flashing lights and it will display the Super Cruise unavailable message.
The last observation that I'll make about our experience with Super Cruise is that it does do the hard braking when we encounter backed up traffic at high speed on the highway, although I do find myself being much more vigilant when using Super Cruise in heavy traffic. It will actually come to a complete stop if the cars in front of me stop, and it will start driving again all by itself, which is very helpful when we hit the stop and go traffic in the area right before Disney World. We've had our Bull EUV for just under five months now, and we plan on doing a six-month review of our experience on our channel, so keep an eye out for that. So far, we're very happy with our purchase, and we're glad that GM recently announced that they are reinstating the Bull as part of their all-electric vehicle lineup. Thank you for watching, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel to find more Paradise Today.